What could you do with an extra $500 a month? Hey, my name is Margaret. I'm a full-time reseller. And in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you small sales that actually added up to a lot of money. It's really important sometimes to take a step back and gain some perspective and take a look at the things that are selling or maybe not selling for you to see what is bringing in profit. Lately, I've really been focusing on finding things that are going to be bigger ticket sellers. When I went back and looked at how much money my smaller sales brought me in one month, I was really surprised. Now I talk about my big sales and my small sales like bricks and mortar. My bigger sales that I count as bricks are things that bring me in 20, 30 plus dollars profit. And then the mortar sales are those smaller sales that maybe bring in anywhere from five to $15, just much smaller things. So I thought, you know, since I'm going down this new path and I'm trying to pick up bigger return on investment items, I ought to take a step back and look at what and where my money is coming from. So when I did a video yesterday sharing some of my bigger ticket item sales, I realized I was having to weed through a whole lot of smaller sales. So I thought I would bring this video to you today and calculate how much I actually made in a month on all of these smaller sales. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Margaret with my partner Juan. We have about 10 years full-time reselling experience under our belts, between us, under our belts, however you want to say it. And we make videos just like this, helping resellers like yourself be more successful. So whether you are a new reseller or you are just wanting to ramp up your income, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any content that might help you reach those goals. So over the last month, I had about 42 smaller selling items. The video I did yesterday was sharing items that sold for $20 or more. And so these are all the other items that sold that were under $20. Again, when I went through and looked, it actually added up to a little over 500 bucks. So it's nothing to sneeze at. The first item here is this Pablo lidded trinket box. And again, I love selling trinket boxes. Sometimes they do sit for a little bit longer, but if you can get them for a good price and you don't mind waiting, then they can bring in a nice profit. So this one I took a best offer of $14.99 on. This 3D gold tone ribbon gift bow brooch sold for $10. I have had this listed for probably a year or so. So it's something that uh, absolutely took a little time to sell but with jewelry there are items that sell more quickly some sell more slowly but since they are really small and easy to store easy to ship it's something that I really enjoy selling this item I got at a garage sale it was actually a moving sale at an apartment and everything that was on their porch was free and they were moving out of the country so they didn't want to take very much stuff with them and they had all of this Christmas stuff out there including a box of ornaments which I have been selling and so this snowman icicle ornament sold for ten dollars and I didn't pay anything for it next is a pin this is a Roosevelt Truman reproduction pin that sold for six $16.99. I got this in a big lot of pins and buttons for $25. There was probably about 500 buttons in that lot and again spent $25 on that and they have been selling steadily since I got it, I don't even know, eight, nine months ago. And again, $16.99. A few items sold from these loot crate boxes that I used to get. There was a TV show called Firefly and a movie that came out called Serenity. And these were stickers that were in the, the loot crate boxes. It was like a, it would come out once a month and there would be collectibles and you'll see more from that these boxes coming up. But this uh, United in Serenity Valley sticker sold for $9.99. These were boxes that I had bought personally where they were just kind of fun to go through and then realized I don't I don't know what I'm gonna do with all this stuff. So I decided to start selling it and it's been selling pretty steadily. This was a book that I got for one of my kids who was obsessed with these dinosaur Bashir um, fish but there's just not a lot of books about them so the one that I could find was in I think this is in German yes German okay I even have my title so um, I got it because you know pictures and graphs and whatnot um, so this uh, ended up selling for eight dollars and fifty cents I took a best offer I can't remember exactly what I bought it for but 
it's good, you know, if you're cleaning out books, we just did this in my son's room, we were cleaning out his bookshelf, and I'm just scanning the books as we go. So I've got a nice little pile of books. Some books were going to um, the Buy Nothing group for the neighborhood, some books came into the workroom so that I could resell them and recoup some of the money that was spent on them. This book, if I were a San Diego Charger, I got it at a garage sale for a quarter, and it sold for $10. These buttons I actually did not get in that lot. I found these, I believe, at a garage sale, but I've had them for quite a while. So these Super Mario Brothers pins sold for $5. And I did take a best offer on these because I'd had them listed for quite some time and I have been trying to move my inventory. So I've been taking best offers quite a bit lately. I frequently talk about another thing that I like to sell, which is coasters. They also can be something that sit a little bit longer, but you can usually get them for pretty cheap and they sell for a fair profit. So these I got at a garage sale. I believe I actually had a video recently of me going to that garage sale and these sold for $17.50 and I bought them for a dollar. This pin back button also sold. This was from the $25 lot that I picked up, and this is a Louisiana Holidays lottery pin back button. I've sold many, many lottery pins from that lot, which I was just kind of like, who's going to buy a lottery pin? But they're out there. Uh, and so this sold for $10. This is a cranberry glass vase, pink pedestal footed. You know, it's a really pretty vase. It sold for $15. I believe I bought it at a garage sale for two or $3. I feel like I maybe could have gotten more on this, but because I am trying to move some of my inventory, this is one of the items that I ended up lowering the price on. Some of the things that I have that are maybe bigger items or more breakable, things that I'm trying to kind of get especially if they've been sitting on my shelf for a little a little while trying to just get them out the door just nudge the buyers you know with really inexpensive prices so yes this sold for $15 this figure was also from the loot crate boxes for the firefly uh, show and this is Wash Hoburn uh, and he, this is one of the little figurines and I had these listed originally I had them listed for probably closer to $20 Again, I'm just trying to clean out some of my older inventory. So I dropped it to 10 and then took an offer of eight on it. Glasses are another thing that I really like to sell. I actually have a few pairs here that I sitting on my desk that I picked up at a, an estate sale just the other day. Glasses are things that I like to sell. People buy the frames, they get their own prescriptions put in. So they're pretty usually pretty cheap to pick up. And I think I spent a dollar on three pairs over here. And these that sold were Ray-Ban black and gray tortoise glasses frames, and they sold for $15. I picked up these two blue Royal Staffordshire crescent bone dish uh, dishes at a garage sale and sold them for $12. Once again, this is something that probably would have sold for more if I had waited for a longer period of time, but they've been listed for probably six months or more. So again, ready to start getting some of this stuff out of there. I got the question the other day of, I used to, or I still, in some cases, I put the price on it and then I just wait for the right buyer to come along, which I still do uh, for certain items. But there's there's that aspect of it, and then there's also the aspect of, I we need to pay bills, so things need to sell. So I have to kind of think strategically about some of the items in my store and what kinds of things I would like to see moving more quickly so that we have a little more fluidity with our income. This is a ladies fossil wallet that sold for $10 and I believe I got this at a garage sale. The zipper pull was missing on it so I asked only $10 for it uh, and it had some wear you know but, but I still picked it up and sold it for $10. This is a flash card that I bought at Goodwill. So this was a box of flashcards in this style um, of all the alphabet letters. It was missing, I think A and B. There were two letters that were missing from the box. And I bought the box for maybe three or four dollars. And so the whole rest of the alphabet was there. But when I got home and realized that they were gone, I knew I couldn't sell the set without the, the all the letters there. So I had two choices. I could either 
donate it or I could part them out, which is what I did. And most of them I have been selling for about $14.99. I only recently lowered the price on them. So this one is letter K and I did frame them as frameable nursery art. So they are these flashcards and they're on like this card, not even, they're thicker than cardstock, but not quite as thick as cardboard. So they're, they're very sturdy. So they could be framed and, and hung in a, a nursery or, or what have you. So this, uh, I had lowered the price on eBay to $9.99 from $14.99 and then took an offer of $5 on this one. Here's another one of those Christmas ornaments that sold. This is a plastic green wrapped candy ornament that sold for $11.99. And I have sold, I think there was a red and a yellow one also. And again, these are things that they don't have to be spectacular ornaments to sell. I'm very happy to have sold this ornament that I got for free for $12. This is another one of the figurines that came from the the Firefly Loot Crates. And this is Simon Tam. And I took an offer of $6 on this figure. Another free to me ornament sold. This is a red and white glass snowman. I It seemed to notice a lot of snowman ornament sales. So that might be uh, a pattern that I'm noticing. So this one sold for $8. And again, I paid nothing for this. This was a fun button. This was a Gallagher pin back. And it's one of those that when you move it like a holographic, is that the word for it? I think there's another word for it, that he would like smash the watermelon if you remember Gallagher from his comedian days uh, and this was in the pin back button lot that I got for $25 and it sold for $8. I picked up this Ben Sherman glasses case at a garage sale as well. I think I bought some other glasses at the same time and this sold for $11. This was a very small butterfly brooch and it was I thought it was really cool I kind of thought it was gonna sell for more but it just didn't so I was happy to go ahead and let it go for $12 uh, but yeah it just um, it didn't sell for that as much as I thought it would but I'm happy to get the $12 for it this is a comic slash I guess it's a book um, views from a tortured libido <laughs> and it sold for $16. This we got when Juan and I found all of those comic books and magazines for $60. There were Mad Magazines, National Lampoons, Creepy, Eerie, Horror Magazines, and some just art books and things like that. So this sold for $16. Another snowman sold. This uh, was a 3D snowman Christmas tree ornament, and it sold for $11.99. Once again, I didn't pay anything for this. This was in the lot of buttons, even though it's not a button, but it was one of those little belt clips with the, what do you call it? Retractable keychain reel. Um, and so it was in the, the box of buttons that I got for $25 and it sold for $7.99. Another wallet sold, this is a Herschel wallet, black and white striped zipper uh, wallet, and it sold for $14. This Incredible Hulk comic sold for $10. This one I got from a lot of comics that a friend of mine gave me. Um, her parents do repossessions and I guess they had, you know, they have to leave them out for a certain amount of time for the person to come back and get them. They never came back to get their, their possessions. And so she had all of these comics boxes, nine big boxes of them that she ended up giving to me. She initially was gonna sell them and she said after such a long time, of them sitting in her garage. She knew she was never gonna sell them. So she ended up giving them to me to sell and I sold, have been selling them, oh, oh, probably over a year now, two years, it's been a while, that they've been selling steadily and this one sold for $10. Another Christmas ornament sold. This one was shaped like a little postcard. It was really sweet and it sold for $8. This gold tone toucan brooch sold for $15. This was another one that I thought was going to sell for more. So for a while I did have it listed at a much higher price, but decided I would go ahead and start lowering the price on it and it sold for $15. Another glasses case sold. This is a Betsy Johnson pink and black polka dot case, one of the hard cases, and it sold for $14.99. This Monet necklace sold for $11. I have had this listed for a very, very long time. And I did have it listed for, I think I had it up at $30 initially, and eventually lowered the price and took $11 for this. This is another item that I had priced higher initially as well. It's a vintage military Waterber Waterbury 
US set padlock chain with keys and etc etc and it sold for six dollars and forty cents I picked this up at a garage sale another snowman ornament sold this is a glass snowman head with a super tall hat and it sold for eight dollars once again I paid nothing for this the next two items are both from the comic and magazine lot that won and I got for $60. These are Argosy, the all fiction magazines. This one sold for $15 and the other also sold for $15. I have been going through our games and our video games and puzzles and everything in our house. We're really trying to downsize some. And so this is one of our Wii Sport Resort discs. This was the disc without uh, an envelope and it sold for $15.15. And I did, like you see, I had it up for $35 and it sat for a little while and I decided it's just time to start getting it out of here. So I took an offer at $15.15 or I sent an offer, I can't even remember. It was one or the other. It looks like one of those where I sent an offer for a certain amount off. Let's get it out. I bought a gallon bag of patches a while back and I've slowly been trying to get them listed. And this one just sold, it sold like the next day after I listed it. And I took an offer of $4 on it. Here's another Wii Sport that sold for $11.45. This Rolling Stone shirt I got from a garage sale in my neighborhood and sold this for $8. This is a very, very old children's book called Patty's Moon and it sold for $15. I've had this for quite a while, but I believe I got it at a garage sale or an estate sale. But it was, I, I had it in a bag because it was very fragile. This is another item that I've had listed for quite a while. It's an amethyst grapes necklace, so it's pretty cool, and it sold for $16. Next up is another snowman ornament. This little snowman sold for $14.99. This comic book we got again in the big lot that Juan and I got for $60, $65, bucks, where we got, I don't even know, 500 or so magazines and comics, and this sold for $14.99. Another patch sold. This is a K9 Good Citizen patch that sold for $12.99. And then at a garage sale that I got, oh, so much stuff. It was one of those that was like a garage sale. I wish I could go back and pick again because I'm sure, sure, sure I found, I could have found way more. Uh, but I found these little Barrett in mine flocked little figure teddy bears and I picked them all up and a few of them have sold they're still kind of sitting but I just thought they were so precious and the guy was giving me such a good deal on everything that I went ahead and got them so this sold for $14.99 I'm gonna link a playlist here with some more of my sales if you enjoy videos like these these are gonna be more recent videos of things that have sold in the last few months and then YouTube thinks that this is a video that you will enjoy and if you enjoy content like this make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any content that might help you reach your reselling goals. Bye.